Brendan Fraser is having a comeback after a really difficult decade and he just began to cry thanking his fans. And while everything appeared to be going his way in the 90s and early 2000s, in 2003 he was a victim of sexual assault. And the person who did it was the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, Philip Burke, who admitted to some misbehavior saying he pinched Brendan Fraser but didn't do anything else. And James Woods came out defending Fraser's claims saying Burke did the same thing to him. And after that, Fraser said he wasn't in a good place mentally and wasn't happy taking roles in Hollywood. And then to make things worse, he went through a rough divorce where he was ordered to pay his ex-wife $900,000 a year in alimony and child support. And his ex wouldn't accept reduced payments when he couldn't work due to health conditions. And health issues were a big thing for him after The Mummy 3 where he severely injured his back and couldn't work for years. And he had two unsuccessful spinal surgeries, which was part of the reason he gained so much weight. And there was hair loss as well, which caused him a lot of work with studios. The fans weren't done and started pushing studios to hire him on social media. Which seemed to work where he's been cast in 10 movie roles in the last three years. Getting cast in everything from Batgirl to Martin Scorsese's new movie. And in a recent event, he addressed all this, getting teary eyes, saying he didn't know he had this much support.